Welcome to TechLogix. In this video, we demonstrate how to connect the Impact by Honeywell Analog Video Door Phone Indoor Screen with the Door Station using a CAT6 cable. We'll provide a detailed diagram to help you easily integrate your VDP into your home, flat, or office. Based on our recommendation, the best cable for connecting the indoor unit and the door station is the CAT6 cable. It features four pairs of wires, with two pairs suitable for door station integration and the remaining two pairs ideal for connecting locks, cameras, or sensors. CAT6 cables offer high-quality performance, making them the ideal choice for transmitting both video and audio signals clearly and reliably. Their construction ensures stable connections and excellent signal integrity, which is essential for efficient door phone systems. The next important step is to properly install the CAT6 cable. It should be run in a direct, straight line between the indoor unit and the door station to ensure optimal performance. When routing the cable, avoid passing it near power lines or other sources of strong electromagnetic interference. Using a PVC conduit can provide an extra layer of protection against interference, helping to maintain a clear signal. Ensuring a clean, interference-free pathway will help preserve the quality and reliability of both video and audio signals. To begin the wiring process, cut the CAT6 cable to the required length, making sure the total length between the indoor unit and the door station does not exceed 70 meters for optimal performance. After cutting, strip the ends of the cable to expose the individual wires, ensuring a secure and reliable connection. Next, connect the cable to the indoor station. Refer to the wiring diagram displayed on your screen and use the four-pin connector included with your VDP kit. Carefully match the wires according to the color code shown to ensure proper connections and system functionality. Since the connection between the indoor screen and the door station requires only four wires, you can utilize two pairs of wires from the CAT6 cable for this purpose. The remaining two pairs can be reserved for future integration of locks or sensors. To protect these spare wires, wrap them properly with insulation tape, ensuring they are kept in good condition for later use. This approach provides flexibility and efficient use of the available wiring resources. To establish a secure connection with the indoor screen, the next step involves preparing the wires for the four-pin connector. Carefully strip the insulation from these four wires to reveal about half an inch of copper. This exposure is necessary for making a solid connection and ensures that the wires fit securely into the connector. The same stripping technique should be applied to the wires on the four-pin connector, making certain that both ends are ready for joining. Note, in this demonstration, we use the orange and green pairs of wires within the CAT6 cable for the connections. These pairs are typically responsible for transmitting data and video signals, making them ideal choices for linking the indoor screen and door station components efficiently. Once the wires are prepared, they can be easily and securely joined together. Align the wires from the four-pin connector with those on the CAT6 cable, ensuring a firm and stable attachment to maintain a reliable connection. When connecting the wires from the four-pin connector to the CAT6 cable, it is important to follow the specific color codes for proper functionality of your analog video door phone system. Start by taking the red wire from the four-pin connector and connecting it to the orange wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection typically supplies power, VCC, to the door station, making it a critical link. Next, take the yellow wire from the four-pin connector and connect it to the white-orange wire on the CAT6 cable. This wire usually carries the video signal input. After making these connections, secure them firmly by insulating with tape to prevent any accidental disconnections or short circuits. Proper insulation ensures the longevity and consistent performance of your system. Following that, take the black wire from the 4-pin connector and connect it to the white-green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection serves as the grounding for the door station, ensuring proper electrical grounding and safety. Ensure the connection is secure and insulated properly to maintain system stability and safety. Finally, connect the green wire from the 4-pin connector to the green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection is typically used for the audio signal, ensuring clear audio transmission between the indoor unit and the door station. 
make sure the connection is secure and properly insulated to maintain optimal audio quality and system reliability. Once you have completed the joints, ensure that each connection is individually insulated. After insulating each joint properly, fully cover them with tape, as demonstrated in the demo. This extra layer of protection helps prevent short circuits, moisture ingress, and damage, ensuring a safe and durable connection. Now, let's proceed to make the connection with the door station using the other end of the CAT6 cable. Since the connection between the indoor screen and the door station requires only four wires, you can utilize two pairs of wires from the CAT6 cable, specifically the orange and green pairs, for this purpose because they have already been used on the indoor screen side as well. This approach ensures efficient use of the available wiring without creating unnecessary overlaps. The remaining two pairs of wires can be reserved as spares for future expansion, such as installing locks or sensors. To protect these in used wires, wrap them properly with insulation tape, ensuring they are kept in good condition for later use. Proper safeguarding of these spare wires helps maintain system integrity and provides flexibility for future upgrades. To establish a secure connection with the door station, carefully strip the insulation from these four CAT6 wires to expose about half an inch of copper. This exposure ensures a solid and reliable connection, allowing the wires to fit securely into the door station's four-wire cable. Proper stripping is essential for achieving good electrical contact and optimal system performance. The door station's cable contains three wires for lock integration and four wires for indoor screen connectivity. Use only the four wires designated for the indoor screen connection and securely insulate and set aside the remaining three wires of the cable for future use. Ensure these unused wires are well insulated and stored properly to remain in good condition for any subsequent expansion. Apply the same stripping technique to the wires on the door station's four-wire cable, making sure both ends are properly prepared for joining. Confirm that the exposed copper at both ends is clean and sufficient, which will facilitate a secure and stable connection. Proper preparation throughout this process helps prevent signal loss or connection issues, maintaining the overall reliability and performance of your system. Once the wires are prepared, they can be easily and securely joined together. Begin by aligning the wires from the door station's four-wire cable with those of the CAT6 cable, ensuring each wire matches its corresponding color. Make sure to maintain a firm connection at each point to ensure overall system stability and reliability. Proper alignment and secure attachment are essential for optimal performance and to prevent connection issues. When connecting the wires from the door station's four-wire cable to the CAT6 cable, it is crucial to follow a specific color coding scheme to ensure proper functionality of your analog video door phone system. The wiring colors provided in the diagram serve as a guide to keep connections consistent and correct. This precise matching helps avoid any operational issues and guarantees the system functions as designed. Start by connecting the red wire from the door station to the orange wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection generally supplies power, VCC, to the door station, making it one of the most critical links in the setup. Ensure this connection is tight and insulated properly to maintain power continuity and prevent short circuits or disconnections that could impair system performance. Next, connect the yellow wire from the door station to the white-orange wire in the CAT6 cable. This wire typically carries the video signal from the door station to the indoor monitor. After making this connection, secure it firmly with tape or insulation to protect it from accidental disconnection, moisture, or damage. Proper insulation at this stage ensures stable video transmission over time. Then, connect the black wire from the door station to the white-green wire of the CAT6 cable. This serves as the grounding connection for the system, providing safety and electrical stability. Ensure this connection is secure and properly insulated to prevent ground faults and maintain overall system safety. Proper grounding is essential for operational reliability and user safety. Finally, Connect the green wire from the door station to the green wire in the CAT6 cable. This wire is used for transmitting audio signals, allowing clear communication between the indoor unit and the door station. Make sure this connection is secure and insulated correctly, 
as it directly impacts the audio quality and overall user experience. After completing all the connections, individually insulate each joint thoroughly. Wrap each connection with tape as demonstrated in the demo, ensuring complete coverage. This extra layer of insulation protects against short circuits, moisture, and physical damage, thereby extending the life and reliability of the entire system. Proper insulation and protection are key steps in ensuring a safe, durable, and high-performing installation. The final step is to connect the 4-pin connector to the designated door 1 pin on the indoor screen, ensuring a firm and secure connection. This establishes the essential link between the indoor monitor and the door station, allowing for communication and video transmission. Next, connect the output wire from the provided DC power adapter to the power pin on the indoor screen. Carefully follow the wiring instructions and diagram shown in the demo video for correct placement. Ensuring a secure connection at this stage is vital for the system's stable and reliable operation. Once all connections are properly made, plug the power adapter into a power socket and turn on the VDP system. After powering up, check that the indoor screen displays the video feed from the door station and that the system is functioning correctly, providing seamless communication and security. Now it's time to test your installation. Ensure that the power supply is turned on and the system is powered up. Once everything is ready, press the call button on the door station. This should trigger the indoor station to display the live video feed, confirming that the connection between the door station and indoor monitor is successful. After the video appears, try using the indoor station's microphone and speaker to communicate with the person at the door. You should be able to speak and listen clearly, verifying that the audio and video transmission are working properly. If everything functions as expected, your installation is complete and ready for regular use. That's all for our setup of the analog video door phone using CAT6 cable. For additional features such as SD card storage, date and time settings, or lock and sensor integration, please refer to the other videos in this series. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY tips and electronics tutorials. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.